Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Hundreds of Chamorro land trust leases could be in jeopardy of being declared null and void, according to documents obtained from the Department of Land Management. Documents prepped for the CLTC board meeting tomorrow obtained by KUAM News. These documents showing nearly 700 names and hundreds of leases signed in which application rights or CLT leases were transferred. Many of these instances involving original applicants who are still living. A.G. Elizabeth Barrett Anderson's legal opinion stating the Chamorro Land Trust Act does not authorize or allow an applicant during his lifetime to transfer or switch places with another applicant. And according to the AG's opinion, any leases that involve this are, quote, null and void. The AG's opinion goes on to state a lease in violation of this prohibition is null and void and not subject to the commission's power to correct or remedy. Hundreds of application rights were transferred while the original applicant was still living. And according to CLTC documents, this practice was allowed by the CLTC as far back as 1997. Documents showing that leases involving the taking over of application rights were signed for CLTC properties all over the island. CLTC documents also showing 30 applicants were allowed to switch date and time with other applicants, something the CLTC's legal counsel said was an administrative practice. But the AG opined these leases were null and void. Leases not authorized by the CLTC board, voidable, according to the AG's opinion. It's not clear how many CLTC leases would fall into this category, and the opinion indicated lessees could petition the board to ratify leases previously not approved by them. Now, since the passage of the law that created the Chamorro Land Trust, it's painfully clear that the CLTC has abandoned the first-come, first-served process that was supposed to dictate how Chamorro homelands were doled out. As someone who received a number of 308 has yet to be contacted over the course of the last 23 years by Chamorro Land Trust personnel. There's also no way of telling what motivation was provided for people to transfer app rights or switch dates and times with another applicant. Were money, favors, or other enticements offered? There's no way to tell. I want to believe that for the most part, things were done correctly and properly. And that you may have had maybe a handful that, you know, may be questionable. Although Ada said the CLTC should proceed cautiously with granting leases, he disagrees with the governor and Senator Uggins' call for a moratorium on the issuing of Chamorro Land Trust leases. We end up penalizing everybody by, you know, calling a moratorium and no more, uh, um, you know, issuance of leases until uh, everything gets resolved to everybody's satisfaction. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.